Elvohu. Cosmic things are going to happen. But I believe that there is a higher force in the universe. Talk to that spirit and it will protect you and guide you because all wise men have always said that and it's true. And the New Testament, there's a scripture where it has Jesus saying to the Pharisees and Sadducees, does not your scripture say that ye are gods and that we are gods in that the progenitive life force in us has come from another place in the universe. Wherefore, we are the offspring of the Elohim. We're the offspring of the gods. So we are, in a manner of speaking, the offspring of gods. And therefore, we've got disconnected because we've lost our consciousness of the common culture that belongs to all of us, you know. And so even when you're looking at when you're looking at our people, even in their in their concepts about uh, religion, etc., they keep thinking that uh, the different names therefore made this differently. And so when you look at um, spring, you look at the earth, like the moon is emot. Yeah, you look at the moon and you look at the energies of the planet, like the moon is emotive. Earth is carnal experience. Venus is expression of the first principles of love. Mercury is deals with community, uh, communication, and intellect. Jupiter deals with unfolding of spirituality and its bestower of gifts. Saturn is structure, discipline, retribution, justice. This is the reason why those who misrepresented uh, religion have people thinking that Saturn is Satan. Satan is actually Saturn. It's simply forces of nature. Neptune deals with imagination. Uranus deals with impulses for change. Pluto deals with inner transformations and this is the reason why governments are catching it right now because Pluto has come around and it's going to you know anything that is built not on truth is coming down and of course your the, the ancient principle that you see in ancient Kemet which is actually Kemet with the uh, K-A as opposed to K-E um, and the uh, ancient Maya ancient Urmlek all which are derivative and concurrently running across the planet. The, the other misconception uh, was the Asiatics coming here in the so-called Great Diaspora. We've been here in the North Gate territories for over 70,000 years. And in the secret societies that the Europeans maintained, they got at least 46,000 years of written history of the ancient Moabites, Lemurians, which today are called Moors, etc., etc. And, but you already know we're not Indians, although they call us that sometimes. And the, and the ancient, the, the number seven, which you already know that our people use in all of the cultures, they need to know that the seven are the seven Elah. And Elah is uh, the, the Moabite Hebrew name for what they were called. Because if you went to the beach right now and died, then we don't want to be going to our eyes. If I went right to the house and got a seesaw and put it in your eyes, that would have a fit. So what happens is, when you're standing on dry land, your, your, your body calibrates where you are and adjusts itself for where you are. And when you dive in the water, the moment it hits the water, your body has to recalibrate itself and adjust it to where you are. You follow? Just that quick. So there are reptilians, like the alligator and the crocodile, who can come out of that water and stay on dry land for a while, longer than they should. And then, while breathing air, go back in, especially hippopotamus, which is why hippopotamus was the highest god in Egypt, then go back in under the water and breathe on the water, hippopotamus. Or the lid to you, which I'm going towards, the whale, which they also proved was on land before it got into the water, still has its lungs, and your ancestor, the dolphin, who transported you, see here to this planet to be, to be germinated and grown. Dolphins are your ancestors, and your relationship to dolphins. Made it family. It's all about energy and how that energy is uh, coming together and harmonizing to um, reflect
reflect who we are individually. As they say, as above, so below. And it all begins with the great black cosmic mama. As they say, mama, uh, mama only means beginning where everything began. And everything began from blackness. All colors come from black. So the original blackness of beginning is really uh, the term for mama. And so our being, uh, us being melanated beings, you see, this gives us the ability to harmonize you. And in order to create, you have to balance the spirit with the soul. The European has the spirit, which is represented through the earth, uh, excuse me, represented through the air and fire element. So the air is mental, uh, and this is where we come up with his mastery in manipulating knowledge or information or the mind to create the illusion. And then the fire is power, which is what he has abused uh, on an external reality. And then if you look at the um, earth and the water, which represents the feminine half of this whole, and the whole is what God whole. Uh, so we have to look at a full royal stamp of energy, not just the father and son. Uh, in the infinite balance of the universe, if there's a father, there has to be a, a, a mother. And if there's a son, there has to be a daughter. That is the internal hidden aspect. But it all began with the mama, or the mother energy, which begins in blackness. So it equates to the melanated ones, um, giving us the rulership or the royalty when it comes to activating and energizing power. And so, uh, rather than, we've been ritualized in, in the, the Western mentality, you see. So we're only seeing part of the whole. And as long as we're seeing part of the whole, we're only seeing the illusion. So this is what I'm trying to bring to the table by identifying and defining the royal God family. I want you to see the whole list of how this energy comes together. Um, so we existed on the planet in what we would call pre-dynastic Egyptian or pre-dynastic society on back, on into dynastic society. When the Egyptians, when they asked them, they said, well, uh, how many, how, how, how old is your civilization? They said, well, it's 3,000 years of dynastic period and another 8,000 years of pre-dynastic, they're roughly around 11,000 years. They said, well, who used to rule before then? They said, that's when a whole bunch of gods used to rule. Well, who were the gods? Well, the gods used to be us before we got more encased into the physical body. You see, uh, uh, encased into the physical body. Uh, we, we used to rule on a semi-physical level. Now, all of this is after the fall. You see what I'm saying? But even the, so, they said it, so the earth has several existing periods of existence. Not just so, 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 so when you, when you talk about Atlantis, Lemuria, Terra, Mu, and all of these primordial places, the reason why they can't find a lot of evidence on them is because of the simple fact that they existed prior to the physical realm. So the earth had, had self-existence. They had one that was a spiritual existence, then one which was a semi-physical, semi-spiritual existence on into the physical. You see what I'm saying? So this is why a lot of people, you see, and so whenever you do find some older stuff, like they have stuff down in, in Haiti, they have stuff in Cuba, and they found this stuff on Atlantis, those were the last stages when stuff slipped into the physical. And even then, we were still gods. Now we had a history, we knew that we were going to lose our memory. So we got to work in, the, in what they call the monumental phase of, of Kemet. And we built the monuments around the world. And a lot of the records, especially in Kemet, because we got enough hieroglyphics and stuff. They built it, so they focused on, on, on Egypt. And we built those things because we knew that we're, our memory was going to uh, go dormant. So what we did is we built all of these massive records so we would have those things when the memory went dormant. So basically, the ancient primordial person went to sleep. So all of the dynastic period and all those years of, of all that record keeping was that we knew that we were going to sleep and we had to put these records on the earth. You see the 
thing before we lost the memory. Right. You see, uh, before we lost the memory. Before that, we had what is called.